In Numbers chapter 5, you hear this phrase, even in verse 1, and the Lord spoke to Moses. This is repeated three times in chapter 5, and each time, it's not a secret message, but a message for all the people of Israel. The first part of chapter 5 reminds us about being holy, clean, separate to the Lord. It addresses things like leprosy, illness that make one unclean, and it speaks about theft and how restitution is made to the person who's been wrong. The cleanliness and the lifestyles of those who follow God after the one true God it talks about if a wife is accused of adultery in chapter 5 and describes how this is handled if there's no apparent evidence, maybe just jealousy. See, listen, all the way back to the fourth book of the Bible, God is revealing his heart for community, for marriage, for culture, for family, for holiness. And we have a culture today, a life, a calling that God wants to protect and reveal his love through and to us. There are things that are wrong that are unclean, that you and I are instructed to put away in our culture. See, God wants to see marriages free of jealousy, free of strife, free of unfaithfulness, and he desires to demonstrate a heart of love and purity, well, through his people. Jesus said it this way, by this shall all men know that you're my disciples, that you love one another. Loving God and others will cause us to fulfill his law. This is what he's called us to do and this is who he is to you and I. He loves us and he's called us to love him and others. And that causes you and me to fulfill the law to one another.